Warwick has been home to so many people over the years with a wealth of different architectural designs. The buildings have been changed from generation to generation. Welcome to Step Inside, Episode 1. In this episode, we are going to join Alex and the River Team at 21 Surrey Street, where we have arranged to meet Anthony Tebbits and his sister Roz. The Tebbits have owned this property for many years, up until 1940. Here we are looking at a very unique view that not many people get to see above High Street and Jewelry Street. You can see the wonderful St. Mary's Church as well as the stunning castle. You might find 21 Jewelry Street below you towards the East Gate. Yeah, well, we're standing outside number 21 Jewelry Street in Warwick, which is our old family home. And Simon and yourself have very kindly arranged to show me and my sister around. Amazing. Let's go and have a look then. Thank you very much. I'll I'd love you. to. Am I allowed in first? Am I? Yes, you. Yeah? Okay. You. Thank you. The first thing Anthony shows the team is an envelope full of old photographs taken in the attic of the house. It turns out the photos are years of stories written on the walls of the house. For years, members of the family would be writing on the wall. There's Oliver again, June the 12th, 1900, one of the great unemployed. Jane Tibbetts, that's the grandmother, right? 24th September 1898, spring cleaning, exclamation <laughs> mark. <laughs> the, these, these were photographs taken, I guess, at about the time the house was sold in 1947. And my father's written on the back of one or two of them saying, 21 Jury Street, Middle Attic. So it would be up the top there somewhere, and I guess on the walls. Um, but stretching from a period of 1880 odd right through to 1947. I only ever found these after my father had died. There's one here, Ida Jane Tibbetts, Christmas Eve 1902. Christmas party consists of, of Arthur, Walter, both Arthur and Walter actually both committed suicide, believe it or not. Arthur by shooting himself in his office in London, Walter by falling out of a train near Ipswich. He was a solicitor, he was a doctor in the army. Lucy and myself, and particularly the other members of the family, other uh, married members of the family spent Christmas in their respective homes because there were 10 of them. A typical Victorian family. Well, it's good to see that your family was actively encouraged to do graffiti. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> But it'll be interesting where you think they would have been inscribed, because the middle attic. Well, I think I know which they're talking about in the middle that attic. Must, must be the top. At the top floor. Middle which we'll go. Yeah. And this originally was three sections. So you had this section here, and the, there was a door here. You can just see yeah. where we yes, it out. Yes, got it. And that was, that was sort of like panel. So we've opened this out to make it a bit open flat. So you had one section here, one section here, and one, one section, section there. Section there. Well, the section in the middle would have been in here. Yeah. So it would have been in, in this bit, I think they was talking about. But it would have been interesting how it would have whether because we we put it back to be insets into the wood yes whereas when we had it before when we took over it had all just been plasterboard so it was there was no sort of like the original structure sort of like showing so i don't know whether they they would have changed it when it was well it would have been when it was converted to flats that will be Yes, you found it, yeah. No. <laughs> this is good. Granny there, look. Yes, that's the one that we yeah. had in the boardroom for uh, every got superseded by the castle. Our grandfather, Dr. Hubert Tibbetts, he was uh, um, obviously a doctor in the town, but also mayor of Warwick. Yeah. Um, as was his father, Dr. John Tibbetts. And it says on the back, it says on the back. Happy Christmas. 
That's right. Oh, outside their home, mm. surgery in Jury Street, Warwick. But in fact, it's the, the one I've got at home is a postcard, and on the back it says, it says postcard, uh, Happy Christmas, uh, Bert and Lucy, um, 1924, I think it is. And I think the estate, the, 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 the owners of this before us actually gave us that. So they'd obviously got hold got of it somewhere. from I don't know where, not from me. Just tell us who you are and where we are right now. What, yes. we're, doing, what we're doing here. Yeah, well, my name's Anthony Tibbis. This house uh, uh, belonged to our family uh, from about 1867 through until 1947. And my great grandfather bought the house originally with his wife Jane, John, Dr. John Tibbets and Jane Tibbets. Most of their children were born here, including our grandfather. Um, both Dr. John and Jane died in this house. Our grandfather was born in this house. Our grandfather died in this house. And my, our father was born in this house amongst others, of course. Um, and um, but I'm here today, thank you very much for your kind, for your kind invitation, um, to look round the house which our ancestors lived in and which we've never been in before. And it's really quite, uh, quite uh, moving, you know. Then we continue walking down the old staircase towards the outside courtyard. Obviously it's too dangerous to put Anthony and Rose down the well and then into the tunnel, so we just show them the entrance from above ground. But for you, watching this, we can drop you into the well using the power of virtual reality. You are now inside the well. You can now see what very few people have ever seen, one of the entrances to what could have been a secret network of tunnels. Just imagine the stories this tunnel's walls could tell. The tunnel graffiti above reads, Oh, Tebbets, 1894. This is about as far as the story goes as historians are only just now trying to work out what and why and when this was constructed. Can you tell us about some of the photos that you've got of the people that were taken on top of here and whether you think they knew about that or not? Well, I've got several photographs stretching over a period probably of the 1880s, 1890s through uh, until uh, during the First World War. Um, where groups or smaller groups have been taken in front of this window, looking down that way with a the photographer there. Whether they realised that they were actually outside, they must have known it was the entrance to the well. They must have done, I would say. Uh, but I guess it must have been well protected. I suppose there would have been a, a, a stone slab or something there which uh, was pretty stable. I, I, that's the only thing I can think. But, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a modern day photo. Yeah, the modern day photograph of... <laughs> yeah. Anthony has bought all those family photos for the team to look at. We look at these photos all taken under the same window but over generations. Anthony and Roz ask us if we could do something for them. They said they would love to keep up the family tradition and have a photo taken in the same spot to add to their story. Thank you for joining us on this first immersive episode and we look forward to seeing you in the future as we explore further.